Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning and Large Language Model Tutorials. In this Machine Learning and AI tutorial, we explain how to install and run DeepSeq R1 model locally on a Linux Ubuntu computer. For those of you who are not familiar with large language models, DeepSeq R1 belongs to the class of reasoning models. Reasoning models perform better at complex reasoning problems and tasks compared to the classical large language models. Complex reasoning problems are problems that appear in mathematics, science, and coding. According to the information given on the GitHub page of DeepSeq, the performance of DeepSeq R1 model is comparable to the performance of the OpenAI O1 model. However, DeepSeq R1 is released under the MIT license, which means that you can also use this model in a commercial setting. This graph over here shows the performance of DeepSeq R1 and compares the performance of DeepSeq R1 with other models. What is interesting to observe is that DeepSeq R1 has a similar performance to the OpenAI O1 model. Also over here you can see the performance of a distilled version of DeepSeq R1 and it compares the performance of DeepSeq R1 distilled version with OpenAI O1 Mini. So let's explain what are the distilled models. To run the full DeepSeq R1 model locally, you need more than 400 GB of disk space and a significant amount of CPU, GPU and RAM resources. This might be prohibitive on the consumer level hardware. However, DeepSeq has shown that it's possible to reduce the size of the original DeepSeq R1 model and at the same time preserve the performance of the model. Of course, the performance will not be preserved completely. However, we can still run reduced size model by sacrifice some small portion of performance. Consequently, DeepSeq has realized released a number of compressed or distilled model, how they like to call it, whose size varies from 1.5 to 70 B parameters. To install these models, you will need from 1 to 40 gigabyte of disk space, which is a modest requirement. In this tutorial, we will explain how to install and run distilled models of DeepSeq R1 on my Linux Ubuntu computer. My computer has NVIDIA 3090 GPU, 64GB of RAM, Intel i9 processor with these specifications and I'm running the model on Linux Ubuntu 24.04. So let's immediately start. Ok, let's start with installation. The installation procedure is number 1. Download and install Olama. Number 2. Use Olama to download the model and number three, use Olama and command line to run the model locally. That is, we will just need a Linux Ubuntu terminal and we will type questions in a terminal and we will run the model. This whole concept for running large language models might be a little bit confusing for people who are not familiar with large language models and machine learning. And here is a bit of background information. Namely, in my modest opinion, Olama is maybe the simplest approach for running large language models locally. As I explained previously, you just install Olama, download the model and run it by using command line. This is a very simple approach that's very useful for quick test of models. If the models can work on your hardware, then in the next step you're going to use, for example, Python or some other scripting language to write an application that will integrate that model. Okay, but before we install Olama, it's very important to perform the following step that's not explained on this website. Namely, open a terminal and in the terminal type this command sudo ufw allow and you need to specify this port here you're allowing connections to this internal port on your computer don't worry you're not opening a firewall or you're not eliminating the firewall you're just allowing connections internally to this port since olama needs this port and then go 
to the Olama website. Here is the link. Click on download, then click on Linux, and here is the installation script. Again, here the website doesn't mention that you need to install curl. Consequently, let's make sure that curl is installed on your system before executing this command. To install curl, we first need to execute this set of commands. First of all, update and upgrade. And you should execute these two commands whenever you want to install any program on your computer. And finally, you can install curl by just executing this command. And then after that, let's verify the curl version. Here it is. Let's see what is the curl version. And you can see curl 8.5.0. Then go back to the Olama website and then just copy this command. This curl command will actually execute this script over here, paste it here, press enter, and that's it. Now Olama is being installed. And this is my this might even take several minutes, depending on how fast is your internet connection and how fast is your computer, and consequently be patient. The next step is to download the DeepSeq R1 model. To do that, click here and search for DeepSeq-R1. And then over here at the top, click on the first link and let's explain what is provided over here. First of all, you can see these models over here. You can see 1.5B, 7B, 8B until 671B. Of course, everyone would like to install the model with almost 700 billion parameters. However, there is a price to that. If you click here, you can actually see the amount of space that you need on your disk to download this model. In addition to this, your RAM memory might not be able to handle these large models. My suggestion is to start with, with a smaller model. For example, in this video tutorial, I'm going to try to execute this model with 32 billion parameters and this model only under quotes only consumes 20 gigabytes on my disk so i will click here and what is very important to know about this model is that this is a distilled model that is its performance is a little bit weaker than the performance of the large model however the size is smaller and another important thing to keep in mind it's heavily quantized as you can see over here that's why it's smaller okay let's try to run this model so copy this line however do not execute it immediately paste it over here and instead of run type pull why i'm changing this option well i just want to first download the model and then later on i will execute it to download the model you need to use olama pool and press enter now it's going to take approximately as you can see over here maybe six to ten minutes to download the model consequently be patient and wait and keep in mind here that you are downloading 20 gigabytes from the olama website it took around 10 minutes on my computer to download everything. Okay, the next step is to start the model. To verify that the model is downloaded, type Olama list and you will see the model. Before I run the model, I need to do one important thing. First of all, I need to make sure that I can actually monitor my GPU usage. To do that, I need to run this command. Let me just first close this. I will open a new terminal and in this terminal I will type this command watch dash n one one is the period of observing the GPU resources and I will run the command NVIDIA SMI so what's happening right now right now I'm monitoring my GPU usage that is power and some other thing with a period of one second let me now close this command and let me run it again once more make sure that everything is okay yes it's running you can see the power usage of my GPU you can see that the power is changing okay next let's go back to this terminal and let's run the model to run the model you need to type Olama run and the name of the model here it is so let's run the model 
and here it is. Now the model is being loaded and here let's expand this and let's see the GPU usage. You can see right now what's happening with my GPU. It's around 97 watt being used. Here you can see the other specs, memory usage, etc. You can see the GPU usage, fan, temperature, etc. All these are important parameters to monitor the model behavior on your system, which is really, really important. Okay, let's go back over here and here you will see this terminal window. And let's ask a question. Who are you? That's the first question. And you can see that very quickly we get an answer which is really encouraging. Watch out, here we are running a model that has 32 gigabyte or better to say 32 billion parameters. Okay, let's for example ask a real question. How to solve this equation? And let's write something which is really insane. x squared, for example, sine x multiplying x squared plus, for example, let's do 10x or minus 10x plus log of x. Let me type it here and let's put it, let's do plus is equal to zero. Let's see the answer. Okay, so let's see what's happening. So now the model is running and over here you can see the GPU usage, we can see the power, full power, almost 350 watts. You can see the temperature increase, you can see the memory, you can see GPU utilization, almost 90-80% of our GPU processor is being used, which is really encouraging. And now the model is really trying hard to solve. Probably it's using a bisection method. And this is really, really encouraging. Now, before I conclude this video tutorial, my suggestion is to go over these models and find a model that has a good compromise between the speed of execution and the performance. You can even try this largest model if you have a more powerful GPU than I have. And of course, you will need more RAM memory. Okay, that's all for today and thanks for watching.